All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to week number four of the Women's Carball Championship. We are moving on to our a, our third matchup of four tonight. It is the Soccer Blues versus the Cow Nose Ladies. Uh, unfortunately, Nito Queen couldn't be with us, so we're going to have Tomashi fill in. And from the void, here's RJ. How are you doing, RJ? I have been here the whole day. Everyone has been talking about me in She's chat, like in voice chat. You told me to be loud. You said I came from the void. I have been here. Just oh, so it's you know. awesome. That's amazing. She's like yelling into it. Do not laugh at my rage. That's awesome. All right, RJ. I'm glad you're feeling all right, but we've got a matchup between the Soccer Blues and the Cow Nose Ladies and... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a, a tough one, I think, for the Countess Lady Soccer Blues. A dominant performance last week against Not Vanilla. I mean, how do you see this one shaping up? Looking at the uh, amount of games that Soccer Blues has been able to win versus Countess Ladies, it's definitely going to be hard. I'm obviously not going to call anything <laughs> until after it happens, but... Oh, my. Well... We appreciate you being here, RJ, and I look forward to uh, to seeing this matchup between the Soccer Blues, Cal Nose ladies, and, you know, you look at the stats, we've talked about it, Crimson, uh, certainly one of the top performers in the league right now, Tamashi, that's got to be scary to play against. Oh, it absolutely will be. I mean, Cal Nose ladies know that they're coming in, knowing full well that they're on quite a bit of a, a downslope at the moment, never mind having to go up a team with a key player like that. So. It's going to be hard for them to rally for sure, but um, don't don't count them out of this. They, they, they probably know that at this point, they just they have to just come into this knowing that, you know, just go aggressive. Like at, at this stage of the game, as if you could just commit to the ball, maybe try to force find a way of being able to force Crimson to not be in the positions where she just excels at. It then just becomes a case of can they just push on through? And but uh, Psycho Blues have been pretty dominant so far, so it's going to be an uphill struggle. But we'll see what they can do. That we most certainly will. A number four versus number eight matchup. The Soccer Blues are looking to move to three and one to keep up with their counterparts in the Venus Vixens who took a victory today. So, ladies, I will hand it off to you. Have fun. It is the Soccer Blues and Accounters, ladies. Thank you very much, Haunted, as always. And, uh, yep, our first match is starting to get on the way now. All the players are loading in. We've got Quaro, Alice, and Crimson on the blues. Alpha, Michaela, and Yokai for Cow Nose Ladies. And away we go, straight away, with a demo. Yeah, Kraro taking out Yokai on the field. Oh, Kraro reminds me of a cute little crab. Crimson going to try and shoot that one, and it goes in. Alpha's going for it, but she just can't get it. Well, we pretty much talked about her right on the right at the start, and uh, guess who gets the first goal? It's Crimson, of course. Just pokes it into the top left corner. No saving that. I just shunts their teammate for celebrations because why not? Eleven seconds in, it's one goal up. This kickoff going to Kraro again with a dribble and a shot on target. Yokai's able to save it off to the corner. Alice coming in for the rebound, and she's able to put that in a crazy angle. It's like blink and you miss it 20 seconds in and sacro blues come out with that kind of intensity that you'd expect from them just pops it straight into the middle nobody from counters ladies was able to get to that ball all pretty much being inside the goal and not the best start that the that the counters were looking for as the kickoff yet again starts to go into their own territory and alice is just going to guide that it goes off the top somehow it doesn't go in that was almost insane. Ball out mid. Yokai could beat to this and do something with it, but Alice steals it instead, taking it to the orange half, trying to bop that one down. Michaela takes it to the side. Alice with a second touch. Crimson to Caro, and it is too high to go in. Yep, it's actually going to come back towards that blue territory as Alice chases the ball down into the corner, tries to set it up again, but. Uh, uh, to, to no prevail this time round as they're having to go all double rotate back. Mikella is going to get demoed as the ball gets set up towards blue. Can Yoko get a touch? Not this time. Alice popping that up midfield to Kara waiting, but Mikaela steals that ball, puts it into the blue corner. Crimson dribbling that one around the wall, taking it out mid. 
still holding on to control. Yokai does get that, but gives it right back to Karo. Yokai following up. This could be a shot opportunity, but Alice shuts that down, just takes it right back down midfield, following up with it. Yeah, following up into that corner area as it sets up for Koro again, but not gonna quite get a touch on it this time around. A demo coming up. This time it's Alpha who goes down as the ball goes dangerously close to goal. He's gonna get cleared just in the nick of time. Crimson now gonna guide that all the way down and what a cheeky little rebound that was as Crimson takes a third goal. Oh, what a beautiful cross field air dribble and to end it with a cute little double tap like that. I love it. Such a hard one to defend against. Absolutely, it's just... Sacco Blues operating on all cylinders right now. It's a 3-0 advantage that they've got. And Alpha, oh my word. It's not Alpha, it was Alice who set that up. The second shot goes off the crossbar. And it's Crimson who gets the goal in the end. But what a team play that was. And that's Crimson getting the hat trick off of Alice's pass. Another double touch. Seems like Sakura Blues are hitting every single second touch that they're trying right now. Yeah, they really are. Two minutes gone. 4-0 lead for the Blues. Count those ladies have it all to do. And this is just the first match of this set as well. If they're struggling now, how in the world are they going to fare in the next couple of matches? We'll soon find out. But already Crimson gets themselves into another position. Uh, cross field, a pinch off the opposing team and reading that bounce perfectly to put it in before it can really even cross the net, before it can really be saved. And... This is just carnage on the field right now. It certainly is. They're doing everything they can to try and get these kickoffs, but every single time you just see Sakura Blues just bolt on forward. This time it's Alice who leads the way. Beautifully set up. It's Crimson yet again. And you can kind of see the attempt from Kaunos ladies to defend. They left Michaela back in the goal after kickoff, but Alice passing the ball to Crimson, confusing the defenders so much they just can't do anything, even if they try to prepare for it. Yeah, we're not at the halfway mark yet. Every single time they go for that kickoff, it just doesn't go in their favor. As we see it go towards the orange side of the field yet again. Alpha tries desperately to get that away from there. This is going to get intercepted time and time again. Yokai sends it down towards the corner. It's only going to go as far as Michaela at the very least, but look who's in. Wait for it. It's Crimson. What a little, little setup. Couldn't quite get it direct, redirected into the goal. And once again, the clearance has to come up for the Kaunos ladies. Alpha not able to get the touch. Crimson putting that on the back and Alice coming in for the kill. Crimson back to Alice though. Michaela has the ball, managed to steal that one. Caro does steal it around the corner though. Yokai 50 that one into the air. Alpha and Crimson going at it in the air, but Crimson gets to it first. Caro trying to take that one around the corner. Kills Yokai, giving Alice the opportunity passing it to Crimson, just finishing that one off. Yeah, a wonderful little setup. The demo certainly helped. Alice pings it off that left wall and Crimson scores the double hat-trick. It's a 7-0 lead for, Sa for... It's just a 7-0 lead. Yes, it is. And Crimson has that double hat-trick, but she's 100% on shooting percent right now, too. Every shot that she makes, she... Every shot that she takes, she makes. And that is kind of insane. It really is, and that's going to come in again this time around. It's Yokai who manages to get the save from Alice. Alice tries to set up Crimson again, and that one is not going to go in this time around. Just shy, just up off the crossbar. Crimson's going to get punted all the way to the furthest corner. They are absolutely... I think Kaunos ladies do not want them to be scoring any more here. And Alice tries to dribble all the way through, but Yokai again gonna be the one to stop that crimson pops it off the backboard and scores yet again more doubles that are just impossible to defend against alpha did have the right idea they're getting back as fast as possible and yokai challenging early but crimson is just too fast and with a minute and ten left on the clock Kaunos ladies have got it all to do as Alice punts it right backfield. Alpha going to make sure it doesn't dip any further than that, but Crimson's going to set up Alice and that is a ninth. Oh, such a fast conversion from a kickoff to a goal. Alpha trying to clear it out and Yokai almost blocking Crimson's pass. Just couldn't fall down onto the ball in time and Alice takes that opportunity. 
we could be seeing a double digit lead here if the Cycle Blues want to commit to some more little bit of pieces of history as the ball comes into the left corner, one minute left on the clock. It, 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 just seems, it just seems impossible to be able to find some form of weakness that the Sacred Blues have here. Yeah, it's so hard to shut them down if they're just scoring every few seconds here. Yokai was able to read that touch off the backboard, though, able to stop one goal there, so that is the right idea. The Crimson's going to come here for that. Doesn't get the double, Mikhail, trying to take that one downfield. Crimson passes it mid, gets stolen again, and... It's not looking too good for the cow nose ladies, despite all their efforts on the field. Yeah, both Alice and Crimson just trying to get that 10th. They've got 15 seconds left on the clock, and cow nose ladies are doing very well to deny them this opportunity. Crimson not going to get to that ball in time, but it's still very much in a dangerous position. As Crimson gets a little bit of a touch to it, it goes all the way into the left corner. It will not be a 10 goal game here. 9-0 is still an impressive feat in and of itself, but that ball is still dangerous! Oh, it doesn't go in! It somehow did not register as a goal. Oh my god, the ball hit the crossbar and then dropped in, like, at the end screen where it pauses. The ball was halfway in the goal. I can't believe that one didn't go in, but that does stop digits, although Crimson's score is in the four digits, quadruple digits. I don't know how to count. <laughs> Simple math. In either case, Crimson, look at that ratio. 11 shots, 7 goals. Even had the nerve to have an assist in there as well since Alice got 2 goals of her own. But count those ladies, what do you have to do here in order to try and come back from that? A 9 from a 9 nil game. It's so hard. This Sakura Blues is on it today. I know they struggled a little bit in the game that they lost to, I believe, Sway Frost team right now. They are just playing it, and... Well, we are going to now go forward into match number two. And already it seems to be a little bit more of a uh, quieter start. I mean, having said that, you just feel like the second if, if Sacred Blue scores, they'll probably start running away with it. And Koro takes it across the face of goal, couldn't quite get the rebound they were looking for, sets it up, and uh, not going to happen on this occasion. But the uh, the threat is still very much alive, and just, again, Alice just Alice and Alpha just having a little bit of a ding-dong there. Behind five of them not getting to that ball in, in time. Uh, Alice, oh, good shot on target, but Yokai gets the save. Cross the net, but oh gosh, everyone's changed their names. The, the Uwu is taking over. <laughs> I did think that that was the case. I, I was looking at Quinn's and going, why does it say Qu Quinn's Uwu? <laughs> <laughs> ah, the Uwu's aside, Sakura Blues are just taking an absolute shine to this game. Got up, gonna send that downfield. And there is a there is Crimsoon. Uh, you oh. just said Sakura Blues. I think you meant to say the Sakura Blues. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what have I signed myself in for here? Yokai does get the touch, sends it to the left corner. This is impressive so far from Kano's ladies, able to keep it at nil nil at the moment. Certainly a better showing uh, in this game than in the first one. Not really giving them a chance, although Koro does finally get the setup. And there we go, first goal of the game. And with that, we're gonna move swiftly on forwards then. Three and a half minutes left on the clock. Nialis does finally get the little bit of the touch on the kickoff. As up away it goes, Alpha not gonna get a touch on that ball, which does give Sakwabu's a chance to maybe try and go for that quick second. Yokai gets a touch to it, but that is an awkward bounce down, and Crimson is gonna try and go for Nialis. Doesn't quite get the touch, but I tell you who did, it's Qual, and that is gonna be a second goal for the Blues. All right, I am back from disconnect land. Crimson with the softest of touches to pass that one down to Caro. And it is a slower start, but now that Sakura Blues have gotten their first goal, seems like they're able to get that second, and might see them picking up the pace here. We'll soon find out. Three minutes on the clock. 
Oh, I've got to admit that that's... Oh, that was unfortunate. That was all malice and nothing but net. Just the tiniest little shunt just sent it right past Yokai. I don't think Kamino's ladies were quite expecting something like that. It's a free goal lead with three minutes on the clock. Three goal lead and it is now a 3-2. We can't reset the server because its goals have already been scored. So Soccer Blues are going to be having a bit of a 3-2-1 act. 2-3 action, but that isn't slowing them down. Crimson's still able to take that one off the wall and put it in with Alice. Yeah, I was going to say, you wouldn't think that Sacra Blues are a uh, uh, person down considering the fact they just went ahead and scored the fourth goal. So less than three minutes left on the clock. We'll see if Kano's ladies can at least break break the deadlock a little bit. Maybe give them a little bit more of a pressure. Sometimes it always gives you that slight advantage coming in with an additional player. But uh, so far, Sacra Blues, well, you've seen how well they were able to dominate the first match. It feels like it might end up being a, a more of a balanced game. Although having said that, Crimson's not gonna <laughs> not gonna disagree because that's a fifth goal. Crimson catching that full boost and putting it in off the bounce. Yokai is back and Alpha's trying to get there too. But as usual, every single shot we've been seeing tonight, Sakura Blues is just too darn fast to stop. If anything, the kickoffs are now finally starting to go in Gown those ladies since there is more of them challenging for it. Ball finally is on target, but it's going to get saved by Nyalis. Crimson is going to go for the follow-up. Nyalis gets the touch. It's off the post. Not going to be in this time round. Alpha 15, Crimson. A good move. Mikhail's pushing that one upfield. It's going around the corner there. Allison's popping that down to Crimson. Yokai challenging that in the corner. Able to steal it from Crimson. But Michaela is running back. Alice popping that one up in the air. Alpha might be able to catch it and turn it around, taking it through the wall, but Crimson steals that, dribbles that, and tries to shoot it. Yokai's able to get that one wide. Alice trying to rebound another wide shot. Yokai taking that around the wall. Only Alice back and still not able to do anything. Even with only two players, the defense is solid right now. They're certainly trying to get that goal there, but Every single time they think they've got a chance, some one of them is just making it there in the nick of time. It's mostly Nyalis that is just hanging back here and gets another crucial save. But Yokai is going to demo them. Now that would normally give them a 3-1 to one advantage, but the ball is already on their side thanks to Crimson taking it as far away from them as possible. So that advantage could not be kept. And uh, Nyalis is again just keeping this ball in the orange half. He's going to try and be cheeky with it, but Crimson could not quite get the touch that they were looking for to get that six. One minute left on the clock. I was taking that downfield to Crimson. Alpha trying to go for the demos to make some space. Mikhail is able to bump Crimson out of the way. Yokai with a dribble and a flick attempt, but Alice steals that right off the top of her car. The ball goes cross field. Alpha, Michaela keeping that one out of the danger zone, but Crimson is looking to put it right back in off the back wall. Gets cleared out mid to Alice, back to Crimson on the wall to Alice, and it is a wide shot. Alice able to get that rebound though, so much ball control. It was absolutely impressive from Alice, you just saw the way it was set up. It went into the corner, nobody was able to challenge it, and Nyalis went, thank you very much, I'll have that rebound. That is a six goal with 27 left on the clock. Ironically enough, Kwa has managed to rejoin, so we're back to three on three. But uh, in all fairness, Kwa, you weren't even needed. <laughs> oh my word, it's a seventh goal as well. Cribs have just set it up. Nyalis comes right in. Seventh goal, a demo to boot, because why the heck not? This is just... <laughs> oh my word, this is, this is devastating right now. Sure is a lot of goals for one team in particular, and Yokai able to make a very clutch save off of Caro's shot, but Alice is able to get that rebound, and Alice is being the Crimson of this game. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, to be fair, Crimson did kind of set that up. It was like, realized that they weren't going to get that craw, I think, sorry, was the one who got that set up. Noticed that Alice was in the corner, just gave it a little bit of tap to water, and there was nothing else that Alice was going to hit. Strong kickoff for SKB here. As Carlos just going to take that right around the wall and right into the goal. 
Yeah, that was all Crow just started off on the left. <laughs> Pretty much, I think that initial hit would have easily carried it through, but just that second little touch, just to make absolutely sure that it goes into the net. Are we about to see another 9 0 win here for the Sacra Blues? Well, they might have another double digit attempt here. Alpha trying to get a goal of her own, putting it onto the blue backboard. Nialis booms that one downfield, and we have a repeat of the last game. So, in this set, Sacra Blues have scored 18 goals. Uh, this time around, everybody got into the swing of things. Craw got two goals and then pretty much vermoosed. And Nialis and Crimson were just uh, unstoppable. Look at that. Nialis with 10 shots. Five of those going. Nice 50-50 nice ratio. You like to see it. And to be fair, credit to the Kaunos ladies. Her yokai was most of the times in the place to get the saves when they mattered most, but Yokai was only was the only one who was able to finally register those shots. It just it, it just seems to just slip away from them every single time. Yokai definitely showing herself as a strong player on Counters Lady. Despite getting the loss, she does have almost all of the saves from the team. Uh, she did have some good offensive pushes. She had two dribbles, but uh, every time she tried to clear the ball or dribble it, it just got completely red. So it's tough. Yeah, it's incredibly tough, especially when you're going up against a team that is as on form right now as uh, Sakura Blues. It's just, it's just relentless between Crimson and Alice. It's just like if one doesn't score, the other is on hand to just tip it over. And uh, you know that's not to say that um, that Kara isn't exactly doing anything because she absolutely is. Like most of the time, she's either just hanging in the back just in case something goes wrong. Or she's helping set up those plays. You, you see every now and then where she knows, oh, Alice is in the right position. She's coming forward. Just going to get that set up for her. She'll convert it into the goal. Or Crimson's going in for the solo. Looks like she's got that under control. I'll be ready to come up if it gets intercepted. It's just the chemistry between these three. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, you can tell they've been playing together. Uh, despite being, as some people would call them, like a, a mismatch team. Some random players from... Uh disbanded teams they're still doing pretty good yeah and it looks like we are going to be about to be on the way for our third match of the set uh sacro lady uh sacro ladies wow i just fused the two names <laughs> good job me sacro blues are leading by two points no they've scored 18 goals so far in the set so i guess the question is how many more can they score and can Kaunos ladies get anything in return? I really hope so. Caro getting another demo right on Alpha off the start. Nikhil is able to keep that in the corner. Nail is popping that mid for Crimson and beautiful pass. Mikhail is able to save that shot. It was slower than the usual one. Yeah, to be fair, Nialis was on hand to try and convert it in as well, but just unfortunately couldn't quite get the tap they were looking for. Alpha with another good save. Yokai tries to bring it down field almost immediately. And credit to Michaela, she actually follows it up. Ball is going to come back towards them. And uh, again, Kaunos ladies are getting a decent start here. They had a decent start in the second match as well, but it just started to go away from them the second Sacha Blues got on the score sheet. Michaela with another decent save. Yeah, Kaunos ladies making three saves in the first minute here. And there's Alpha with another crazy save off of Crimson. This really heavy defense is working out for them so far but it's going to be tough because i know soccer blues will not give up the ball's a bit of a breakaway here but soccer blues able to regain control crimson coming off the ceiling popping that one on target but actually a little wide yeah i was gonna say it came off the post back into them and actually went across the face of goal well, not quite the direction that crimson was looking for but it is going to get sent back downfield again. Yalis will keep the threat alive. Alpha's not going to reach that in time. And Crimson with the double reflect. If anything, it actually bounces off a uh, it bounced off a Kaunos Ladies player. Oh, that's so tough. Hard one to defend against. And Yokai was pushed up a little too much. But other than that, probably the strongest Kaunos Ladies play we've seen. It's at four saves now and them playing in their own half rather than trying to put up any offensive pressure. Stop them from getting scored on though. Sakura Blues is picking up the pace. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think there was anybody in goal for that one. Yep, yeah, that goal is incredibly open. And Nialis, again, not going to hit anything but the net with those kind of angles, with that kind of an opportunity. It's a 2-0 lead for the Blues after a minute and a half played. 
calling them the Blues is the cutest nickname ever. And the ball going right to Alice off of kickoff. It's a shot on target. Alpha is able to save that one. Kara popping it onto the backboard. Alpha taking that around, turning around for boost though. Alice putting that on the backboard. And another stop by Alpha could be a scoring opportunity if Alpha can get that one around. Getting a demo on Caro. Michaela crossing it, and nobody's able to put that in just yet. You just want to see Kano's ladies get on the scoreboard in some way, shape, or form, and it almost felt like it was coming, but not to be on this occasion. Michaela gonna go for it yet again. Yalis up top. Yokai tries to go for the hit, but actually inadvertently hits it back into their own half. Craw is going to try and set this up, paints it into the corner. This is a good little setup. Going to go into Crimson. Yalis, thinking about going for it, actually has to now quickly double check, double back, and does manage to U-turn around to get the save. A good shot nonetheless from Michaela, and even if it didn't go in, it is a valiant effort. I'd say one of the strengths that I've noticed probably from Kano's ladies is the fact that they are not giving up. Like, this series is practically to the Sakura Blues, but you still see them making saves, making shots, and potentially playing the best this whole series in their third game. Yeah, and again, the saves to boot as well. At this point, they've done six saves uh, between Alpha and Michaela, and they're trying desperately to get this goal on the board. Two minutes left on the clock. Yokai is in position. You just see everybody having to quickly rotate back because they know the push from the Sakura Blues is on the way. Now let's get the full boost back. That's going to be a demo. That's not what they wanted. Yokai who goes down. Crimson gets the max boost off their own and is just waiting for this to come back to them, but not quite in the right place for it this time around. Kayla pre-jumping that, able to read Karo's hit, leaving just Alpha back, taking that one around the corner, but Crimson steals it, turns it around, and Yokai gets this breakaway. There is nobody back. Karo demos Alpha, though. Yokai's support player and turns the ball around. Yeah, it was a crucial demo there. It, it robbed Kano's ladies of the opportunity to go for the goal. It's off the backboard. They've got to try and clear it. They do so. Alpha gets a touch, but Crimson is going to get there to intercept. Crawl back, rotates to the back to make sure it doesn't go any further than that. Gets a fortunate tap into the far right corner we go as we enter 60 seconds left. Another pass from Alice out to Caro mid. Kara taking that one around. Alpha catching it on the ground, and she can take this one around the corner past Alice with some dribbles. Alice steals that again, reading every single attempt the counters ladies put up. Alice with a pass down Yokai, stealing that up to Alpha. Everyone missing contact on the ball. Michaela up. It could be a shot, Alpha, and it is dropping down in front of the blue net, and Alice is able to clear it out. They, they both committed to that attack, hoping that, they, that at least one of them was going to get the shot on target. Unfortunately, not to be on this occasion. Ball just wide off the net. Credit to count those ladies. They have been fighting for this with every second. And if anything, those crucial saves have made sure that it's stuck at two goals to nil. Nyalis goes for the save. Actually just get a fortunate touch on it to divert it away. Alpha goes for the attempt. It's off the back wall, but it's not only not going to be high enough to keep it in play. It is going to be a 2-0 win for Sakura Blues, not the 9-0s that we've seen in the previous two matches. So credit to Kano's ladies. They defended with everything they had. Look at that, seven saves. And again, they had the shots on target as well. But just again, that aggression from Sakura Blues and the early lead that they established just kept it in their favor. Kano's ladies are so stubborn, and I love that about them. Just completely not giving up. And... Sakura Blues, this game is good for their confidence moving on in the series. Uh, that takes them to a 3-1 record, and I'm sure that's going to move them up from fourth on the standings. Uh, expecting Kano's ladies to stay around the lower end of the spot. It's tough since they still haven't won a series in WCBC yet, and we're around the halfway point, so there's still time for them to turn it around. There's still time for Sakura Blues to either drop or go higher, too, but we're just going to have to see. And as the, uh... Yep. You. We... You talk. Okay. <laughs> I, was <wondering laughs> if I, I was wondering if I lost you there for a moment, uh... You know, it's, it's been it's been one of those uh, moments, hasn't it? But no, it has been a great match. Of that, there's no doubt. Kano's ladies at least bringing the fight in that third match and uh, not going away shyly, but it is going to be a 3-0 victory 
for the Sakura Blues. We will be right back as we prepare ourselves for a match interview with one of the players from the winner team of Sakura Blues. And then we'll get ourselves ready for our fourth and final match of the day. We will see you all in just a moment. All right. Hello. Welcome back to the Women's Carball Championship Week number four. I am hunted here with Crimson from the victorious Sucker Blues. Of course, first things first, congratulations on the win yet again this week, Crimson. And uh, how are you and the rest of the gang feeling? Yeah, we're, we're feeling pretty good. Um, that was quite, we were quite solid that series. We just. We passed well, we found each other, and it just all felt really fluid and smooth. And, and this is kind of back-to-back -back weeks where you have had pretty dominant victories uh, in, I mean, in all things. I mean, I think you broke the 20-goal mark both this week and last week, and uh, it's got to be feeling pretty good. I mean, you're 3-1, and one, right, heading into week number five. How confident are you to finish out the rest of the season? Yeah, we're confident throughout the rest of the season. We don't want to get too confident because that's how we manage to get our loss. So we're sort of just keeping our heads level, not letting it get to us. But but we feel confident that we can make a dent in the leaderboard. And Allison in chat uh, with the stats saying that you haven't conceded a goal since week two. And uh, she kind of stole my thunder. That was something I was going to bring up. That you guys have had <laughs> two perfect weeks uh back to back now and that's uh certainly unprecedented uh in the wcbc and uh i mean no mercy what's up with that you guys don't just no mercy at all for anybody um uh, well you know you've got to get the goals per game at the end of the season looking quite good so you gotta <laughs> you gotta keep going you can't stop and let up also i'd feel like even worse if we purposefully missed like if we were doing something like that, I feel yeah, even sure. worse because that's just a bad sport in general. Of but course. it's also good fun. No, of course, and uh, certainly cementing uh, the the soccer blues name to being one of those top teams to try to make a push into the playoffs. And uh, you know, we've got to talk about it next week. Things not going to be, uh, I would say, quite as straightforward for you all. And you know, looking ahead, ahead to your schedule, you've got. Normally pink next week, the Queen Cobra is the week after, and then you round out, uh, I believe, against Sway Frost. So uh, it's three tough weeks, and all three of those matches going to be pretty important for standings. I mean, I've got to ask you, are you going to be able to shut out all of those teams as well? Oh, a shutout is a big <laughs> ask, I'm not going to lie. Um, we're confident. We feel like we can we can definitely put some work in against those teams. I don't think our perfect um, streak is going to continue, but it, it may. We may absolutely <laughs> pop off and manage to do some incredible things. All right, but so no, it's good fun. Well, I was just going to say, you heard it here first. Crimson saying that their team is not going to concede another goal for the rest of the season. Championship <sighs> and all, no more goals against the no soccer players. But, uh, Crimson, we thank you so very much for joining us. And, uh, you know, I, I think this is one of the, a couple of weeks now where we've had you on. Is there anything you'd like to say to uh, to the people in oh. Twitch chat? No, um, I just want to thank WCBC for putting on this tournament and the league and everything. It's, it's amazing and what you do for us all. And I want to say thank you to Karen for scoring, I think it was two goals. Two goals. That's 10 quid. I She's donating. I think it could have been a bit more, but I don't know. You're going to have to talk to Kara about that one. Put her in the firing lines. But no, thank you very much, guys. And I will see you next week, hopefully. I I look forward to the next time we get to chat. But thank you again, Crimson. Again, congratulations on your victory. And we will see you and the rest of the Sakura Blues against the Normandy Pink next week so make sure everybody watching the stream you tune in for that but don't go anywhere as we've got one final matchup on the docket for you today sway frost and normandy pink doing battle for one of those top spots in the league you are not going to want to miss that matchup we'll be back in just a minute 